it and I was like, you know what? I want to do something to help raise awareness to the plight of Native Americans. I want to do something. And I thought for a long time, and then I went out and I bought a Jeep Cherokee. I got it in red, obviously. Leather seats for their love of leather work. Sunroof to pray to the sun goddess Yula Nuhi. I felt like I was making a difference. I felt like, you know, it felt like the Lance Armstrong bracelet of cars. You know, because like you drive a hybrid car and people are like, hey, you're kind of environmental, but pull up to a stoplight in a Jeep Cherokee with a Cleveland Indians hat on. People are like, that guy cares about the red man. I even got a little dream catcher for it. My Native American friend, the Raven, gave it to me. And for those of you that don't know what it's a new American good luck charm that's supposed to catch your good dreams and let the bad ones pass. Based on everywhere I've ever seen a dream catcher, I don't think they work. Like I tend to see them in the same places, which are like trailer parks, broken down Nissans, tattooed on the prison hippies, Native American reservations. Like they don't work. Unless the point is to catch the good dream and then not give it to you. Then they're great. They're flawless, greedy little bastards. Here's one more reason I know they don't work. My Jeep got repoed. My Jeep got repossessed. Thanks a lot, dream catcher. And I don't know if anybody here has ever had their car repossessed. All right. You all at home? No, I'm the fuck up. Fair enough. I'm sure someone here has had their car repoed, but they just don't want to say anything because it's embarrassing. And it, it is. It's very embarrassing. I was embarrassed. I didn't want to tell people that I had my car repoed. So when people would ask where my car was, I'd be like, oh, I got recalled.